Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover the module 2 of Learning Path 4. The Learning Path 4 is Examine Application Management and the module 2 is Deploy and Update Applications. I have already covered Execute Mobile Application Management in the previous video of this series. And in the next video, I will cover the module on administer endpoint applications. Then it will be followed with the lab demonstrations for application deployment to Intune and the management of the mobile applications through Intune. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. In case you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe it so that you do not miss the updates in future on my channel. Well, this module is about deploy and update the applications. The module objectives are deploy applications with Intune, adding the applications to Intune, which is the first process of the application lifecycle management. By adding, then we deploy and configure these applications. Manage Win32 applications with Intune, deploy applications with Microsoft Configuration Manager, up to some extent, this will be covered and discussed. Deploy application with group policy. Assign and publish the softwares. Explore Microsoft Store for Business, which has been retired. We'll have a little bit of discussion on that and then Microsoft Store applications. Implementing Microsoft Store apps. Update Microsoft Store apps with Intune. Assign apps to company employees. If we look into the applications lifecycle management, it starts with adding the applications to Intune. We start the deployment, then we configure and protect these applications. After that, we retire these applications in case the devices are reported as lost or stolen or the devices need to be decommissioned. When it comes to add the applications to Intune, we have different sort of applications that are supported that we can add into Intune. Apps must be added to Intune before you can deploy or manage them. These supported applications are the store applications, be it Microsoft, Apple or Google Store. These are apps that can be downloaded from the official app stores like Microsoft Store I mentioned or Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Intune can manage and deploy these applications to the devices. Next is Microsoft 365 applications, which are the core Microsoft productivity applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, etc. Intune helps managing and configuring these applications, including the deployment and updates of these applications. Next is the web links. Intune allows you to deploy and manage the URLs or the web applications as shortcuts on the devices, these links can open a specific website directly from the device's home screen or the applications list. Next is built-in apps. For an instance, OneDrive. These are the applications that come pre-installed on the devices like OneDrive and uh, can be managed and configured via Intune. Administrators can control settings like the sync policies or updates for these applications. Next is line of business applications. And these are the custom internal enterprise applications that have been developed and designed for the business of that organization as the name suggests line of business applications. And uh, they have the specific purpose in the organization. Intune allows you the deployment and management of these applications on the user's devices. Next is Win32 application. These are the traditional desktop applications like the .exe or MSI files that run on the Windows devices. Intune supports packaging and deploying these applications to Windows systems along with managing installation, updates and the uninstallation of these applications. This is about the different types of applications that are supported by Intune. We can add and deploy them. To manage Win32 applications with Intune, 
Windows 10 version 1607 or later is required. That must be Enterprise Pro or Education version. Devices must be joined to Entra and auto enrolled. Maximum size is 8 gig per app that is supported. Features worth noting here that 32 bit or 64 bit applications are supported. This Win32 content prep tool used to create the .intune win file, add the applications to Intune. We have the details like app info and the requirements of it. Configure the install and install commands, rules for existing configurations and the applications and app return codes. These are the configuration parameters or configuration steps for these applications. Talking about the Microsoft Configuration Manager, which is actually used for co-management of the devices. In case you have on-premises Active Directory and you want to manage the devices through it, you want to have full-fledged control on these devices, you can use the Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, MECM, which was formerly known as System Center Configuration Manager, SECM. SECM supports the two different types of applications. One is the package, second is the application. Applications have better intelligence than the packages and are recommended for current or future deployments. This is what we will explore in this topic here. Well, in the applications, the additional intelligence that we get as compared to the packages are like the global conditions. These are some conditions that you can use to define them globally across multiple deployments inside the MECM. They define such requirements that must be met on a device for the deployment to proceed. It can be a specific version, hardware requirement, or the available disk space. Next is the uh, simulated deployment. The simulated deployment is actually used to run an application deployment to see which devices would meet the deployment criteria. As the name suggests, it's the simulation and it does not actually install the app, but gives administrators a preview of the deployment success or failure before the actual deployment. The deployment applications we can do through the software applications that are being deployed through the MECM and uh, deployment applications are packaged and configured in the MECM and then assigned to the target device collections or user collections. Purpose, the purpose of an application deployment in MECM defines the goal or the use cases of the deployment. This could be making sure the app is installed for new devices, updating the software or ensuring the compliance with organizational requirements. Next is revisions. Revisions track the changes made to the application's deployment in MECM. As the name suggests that it is a versioning technique, if an application is updated or modified, a new version is created, which helps administrators to manage different versions of the same application and its deployment life cycle. We can have the detection methods configured. The detection methods are used to determine if the application is already installed on the device. If in case it is there, then there is no need to make changes. It can be based on some file existence, registry keys to check, or installed softwares list can be used by the software for this. This helps the MECM decide whether to install or skip the deployment based on the device's current state. Next is dependency and this dependencies is actually used to define that whether the application you are trying to deploy has the dependency on some other application software. For example, an application may require a specific framework or a runtime like a .NET framework is required. So you need to install that first before you deploy the application. So if the dependencies do not meet, then the deployment will not be initiated. We have supersedence where the newer version of the application will supersede the older version. In MECM, you can configure one application to supersede the other. So when the new application is deployed, the older version is automatically uninstalled. This helps in uh, maintaining the security inside the organization. The users do not use the older versions of the applications which may have the vulnerabilities. Next is application groups. These are the collections of the applications that can be managed and deployed together. They, of, they have the same life cycle maybe. 
In MECM, these application groups allow the administrators to group the related applications, a suite of applications you can call it, and then deploy these applications as a single unit. It simplifies the deployment and the management of these applications. Well, these are some of the core features of the applications that we deploy through the MECM as compared to the packages, which was a uh, classic way or now obsolete method of doing the application deployment. We can deploy the applications through the group policies. This is also a classic approach where .msi files can be deployed through the group policy software installation. This is part of the Active Directory domain service. We have already the uh, group policy client on the devices, so we don't need any additional software or server client configuration. We don't need any SCCM agent or MECM agent for this, and it is easier to configure. But it has many limitations also, like it offers minimal features. For an instance, the scheduling. You cannot schedule the deployment of these applications. Whenever the group policies will refresh, it will start deploying the application. It may be the business hours during that it may deploy the applications and make your network busy. No reporting of the success or failure. It supports the MSI packages only. Whereas for other packages, you need to rely on the other deployment solutions, third-party deployment tools or Microsoft's Endpoint Configuration Manager. Group policy software distribution can be uh, used for Windows installer and uh, it uses the Windows installer service to automate the installation and removal of these applications. We manage the software upgrades by using the group policy. We can modify the software installation settings in the group policy object and then use the upgrades tab to upgrade a package. When we deploy these uh, applications through the group policies, we have two options, assign or publish. And uh, the assign means that the application has been assigned to a device and it will be deployed as a mandatory deployment of, for it. Assign software characteristics are like when software is assigned to a user and uh, users start uh, menu advertisement. It, it, it gets that in the, it is advertised into the menu. Users don't share deployed applications. This assign can be used for the devices or for the users. Publish is that the application is just advertised and is not installed. It is published. The user will have to install it. The publish option is available for users because machines cannot deploy the application itself by selecting it from the gallery. Well, this is the publish method which is applicable for users, not for the computers. The last bullet point you will also observe here that applications can't be published to computers. If you have ever done the group policy software installation, so you will realize that this publish option is grayed out when you apply this to the computer settings or computer configuration when you do. Microsoft Store for Business has been retired and uh, this means that the Microsoft Store for Business is no longer available and the applications and the deployment management are still supported through the tools like the Microsoft Intune and the new store experience, the Microsoft Store experience because we don't have the store for business. Implementing the Microsoft Store apps, in the Microsoft Store apps, admins can browse, deploy and monitor these applications and uh, application deployment challenges that we have, managing multiple versions of the same application, ensuring app compatibility with the different devices, managing the licenses for each application. We add and deploy these applications from Microsoft Store app in different steps. Number one, add the app from the store and then search for the uh, Microsoft Store and create the assignment and then review and create this assignment to the required device groups. Update Microsoft Store applications with Intune. We can do app update. Apps that are deployed from the Microsoft Store are automatically kept up to date to the latest version. Microsoft Store Win32 applications, when the Win32 application is published to the devices as required but already installed, Intune will take over the management of this application. 
For universal Windows platform, the users must select install in the company portal before Intune takes over the management of such applications. Microsoft Store Universal Windows platform applications may be installed in either user or system context. Store group policies restrictions may be used to control the application's deployment scenarios. This is how you assign the applications to the company employees. Applications added to Intune can be assigned to the either the user's collection, I mean user's group or the device's groups. You can deploy an application to a device whether or not the device is managed by Intune. Options for assigning apps to the users and devices. We have this table to summarize this. Options like assign to users. Devices enrolled with Intune or devices not enrolled in Intune. So assign to the users is possible, but assign to devices is not possible when the device is not enrolled in Intune. And that makes sense because the device is not discovered. Then assign wrapped applications or apps that incorporate the Intune SDK. It is possible for both of them. This is we have covered in the previous module or video where we discussed that we can wrap the applications through the Intune wrapper tool to apply the application protection policies to protect the data in these applications or used by these applications. Or we can use Intune SDK to make the source code changes to incorporate the application with the Intune. So both are supported in both of the modes, be it with the devices enrolled or devices not enrolled in Intune. Assign apps as available for both. Assign apps as required is possible to the devices enrolled with Intune, not with devices not enrolled uh, with Intune. Uninstall app is not possible for devices that are not enrolled. Receive app updates from Intune is not possible for devices not enrolled in Intune. Uh, end user install available apps from the company portal not available for devices not enrolled with Intune. Finally, the end users install available apps from the web-based company portal and this is possible from both of the pointers. Well, this brings to the end of this module. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching and see you in next video of this learning path.